Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all on this look, which I'm calling the Model Festival Makeup. It's inspired by a very natural model kind of bronzy glow makeup look. Mixed with a little bit more fun with the Mr. Kate Freckles. I'm starting off by putting this Suva Beauty Trust Fund um, like liquid glow on my chest and neck, my decolletage area, to just really make me look glowy and feel glamorous. Next, with the face, I'm using Milk's Hydro Primer, which is new to me and I've been really loving it. I'm gonna just smear that all over my face. This stuff feels really good and hydrating and um, creates a nice grip for the makeup. Here I'm just putting a little bit of lip balm on to prep my lips for the next step. Now we're starting with foundation. I'm using Bye Bye Foundation from It Cosmetics. That's what the packaging looks like now since my packaging is old. Um, it's practically a tinted moisturizer but with a lot more coverage so your skin will naturally glow with um, but it will have a good amount of coverage and not cover up the natural texture of your skin all that much. It's one of my favorite products. I use it practically every day unless I'm not wearing makeup or I'm just filming a look that day. Next I'm going in with Milk's Flex Concealer. Putting that in all the areas I feel like I really need it. This is when I still had a breakout around my mouth so I definitely wanted to cover that up but for the most part I would just use it around my eyes to brighten up that area a bit and I'm using a brush to buff it in. This is a Real Techniques eye brush I believe. Then I'm going in with Max Painterly Paint Pot to prime my lids and to just create a nice even base for the eyeshadow that I'm going to apply next. To apply this I'm using that same Real Techniques brush and then I'm patting it in with a finger to make sure it's really nice and blended and seamless. To set my under eye area, I'm using Besame's Translucent Brightening Vanilla Rose Powder. I'm not setting the rest of my face. I'm going to leave that pretty natural, but I really wanted to make sure I looked bright and didn't crease. Next, for that bronzy model glow, I'm taking Milk's Matte Bronzer Stick in Baked and I'm buffing that around my cheekbones and the high points of the face to make my skin look nice and bronzed and contoured all at the same time. I'm also taking this around my nose to contour it a bit. I'm not trying to make it look smaller, I'm just trying to define the shape that is already there. Next up is Milk Makeup's Lip and Cheek in the shade Work. I'm taking that on a fluffy brush to make sure it's a seamless, seamless edge and just a really natural flush of color. The key for this makeup is to keep it seamless and undetectable, but also make it look like you're polished and put together at the same time. Next I'm taking Becca's Sun Chaser palette and I'm using the um, highlighter and bronzer from this palette. I'm starting with the bronzer on a big fluffy brush and I'm just putting that over the areas that we used the bronzer stick. Again, just want to keep this seamless and keep it on the high points of the face to um, really highlight the contours of your face. And next with the highlighter, I'm not going overboard with this. I'm trying to keep it in line with the glow that's on my decolletage area. Is that even the right word? Decolletage? I feel like really pretentious when I say it, but that's what we're going to call it. Uh, I'm just keeping this on my cheekbones 
and down the center of my nose and on my cupid's bow. To lock everything together and to set all the powders, I'm taking some rose water spray and just spraying that all over the face. It makes the finish a lot more natural. Next for the eyes, I'm taking the original Lorac Pro Palette and mixing mauve and taupe shades. Um, with a big blending brush, I'm just blending them all over my eyes to create a nice shadow. Um, so my eyes have a bit of depth and a little bit more interest because without it, my eyes can look really flat and undimensional, which is not ideal for a look like this. It also just ties all the colors together and keeps it a little bronzer. And I'm taking the darker brown from that palette Sable and darkening up just around the um, kind of inner parts of the eyeshadow, whatever's closest to my lash line. Next curl those eyelashes. I'm using the Seurat Beauty eyelash curlers, which are my favorite. And then after that, I'm going to go in with Milk's Kush Mascara, the original. It's my favorite. I probably will never change that unless my eyes decide that they are irritated from it, which they haven't. Next, I'm using the Clear Kush Brow Gel, also from Milk, just because I don't want any detectable eyebrow products in my brows. Um, but if you feel like you need a little bit more definition, feel free to use a powder or a pencil, whatever you feel most comfortable with, but this I really wanted to look natural and hairy. For the lips, I want to make them look really plump, so I'm going in with a lip liner first, and this is the Urban Decay Naked 2 lip liner, and I'm really, I'm just kind of pushing the lines of my lips a little bit, and I'm going to blend the edges of it so it looks really natural, um, but feel free to overdraw just a little bit whatever you think works best for your lips. Over the top of that, I'm using the Kush Lip Balm in Nug. This is just a very lightly tinted lip balm, and I really love it. It's got a pepperminty flavor and smell, and it works really well. Now for the best part of this look, the Mr. Kate Color Freckles. I'm just using a bit of water to apply these. You don't need to be too technical. And that's it. That's the finished look. Enjoy these ridiculous modeling shots. Don't forget to like the video, uh, to comment, to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you would like to know every time that I post a video. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I leave the links down below. Um, share this video if you enjoyed it, and if you think you have a friend that might enjoy it, it helps a lot. But other than that, thanks so much for the support, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day, week, or month, and I will see you next week. Bye, lovelies.